Am I the asshole? For telling my husband the nanny is in charge? I want to preface this by saying that I am aware this is a very privileged issue but I'm trying to get some perspective on my opinion. My husband and I have three kids that are 10 months, 3 years, and 6 years old. My husband has a high-profile job and it means he's gone often. I work a regular 9-5. We originally used daycare for our oldest but my middle was born right when the pandemic began, so we hired a nanny. She originally worked when I did. But by the time baby came around, I was very overwhelmed doing bath and bedtime on my own, on top of developing postpartum depression. After a breakdown, we spoke with the nanny and she agreed to adjust her hours so she's helping me with dinner, bath and bed. We've gotten close over the past six months doing this. In many ways, she's become like a third parent to the kids. She's so good with them. We've created a routine that works well. I tend to the baby during bath and bed, she handles the older too. It's a nice rhythm and my mental health has gotten so much better. My husband isn't traveling all the time but most nights, he isn't even home for dinner and bed. He will help me weekends his home. But because he's gone so often, he's reluctant to be firm with the kids. There are times he's come home when our nanny is there. He tries to help her with bath and bed, but allows the boys to rough house, lets them break the routine and it seriously throws them off and delays bedtime. My nanny shared with me she feels awkward. Obviously she doesn't want to undermine her employer but it just makes her job harder. But my husband also doesn't want her to go home when he arrives as he says he can't handle it alone. I told him if that's the case, then he needs to defer to the nanny and follow her lead. She knows our boys best and she has to deal with the aftermath when they don't listen and give her a hard time. My husband feels that she's just an employee and he's the dad. His salary does pay for her. However, I don't feel this is fair to her. I told him he either follows her lead for bed and bath or he doesn't help at all. He told me I'm allowing the nanny to take over and replace him. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. But my husband also doesn't want her to go home when he arrives as he says he can't handle it alone. This is the crux of your situation. Horseplay and roughhousing are very important for your children's development. If dad wants to take over and play he haw he can very well do that that's great but, what he can't do is take over, create a mess and then have the nanny come put out the fire. If the nanny is going to be taking care of business we play by her rules. If dad is going to be taking care of business then we can play by his. Not the asshole. As their dad, it is his job to make sure they are healthy and happy, and sticking to their routine is the best way of doing that. Aside from special occasions, of course. Either he needs the nanny there or he doesn't, but he can't insist she stay and then make her job worse. I'm sure at his high-profile job he would immediately sack someone who interfered with his ability to competently perform his duties. If he wants to goof off with the kids, let him make time for them that isn't at bedtime. How willing is your husband to lose the nanny? Because that's the real problem. Dot my husband feels that she's just an employee and he's the dad. Wow. Just W-O-W. Nannies are employees yes but they straddle a very unique line because a good nanny is part of the children's family. If your husband consistently disrespects that, you will probably lose yours. So not the asshole if you stick up for her. Not the asshole. Ignore the aggrieved men in the comments. If your husband wants to help with bedtime, then he needs to actually help with bedtime, not make it harder than it needs to be. Or else he needs to do it alone and deal with the consequences of riling the boys up. Not the asshole. He's trying to Disney dad his way out of his guilt over being a mainly absent parent. He needs to actually take responsibility for putting the kids to bed if he wants to disrupt the schedule. He's being very disingenuous by whining about being replaced by the nanny, but also refusing to let her go home because he doesn't want to handle his own children alone. 
He told me I'm allowing the nanny to take over and replace him. I mean, he's not wrong, but that's the situation. He's gone all the time for work. You and nanny are the primary parents in this situation. Maybe it's not the ideal situation, but that is the situation because of his job. He needs to come to terms with that instead of trying to assert his authority over her as the dad. Or he can change jobs to something that allows him to play a more active and present role in his kids' lives. Not the asshole. He told me I'm allowing the nanny to take over and replace him. Well, that's how it goes when you're never home. He doesn't even want to parent. He takes the kids for an hour at a time and gives them junk. Then he hands them back to you or your nanny. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The nanny is the expert on these kids' bath and bedtime. She's been doing it, she knows what's going on. If he can't defer to her as the expert, he's undermining her to the kids and making her job harder. And if he wants to replace the nanny, he can handle it alone and deal with all that entails. Not the asshole in fact, as a former nanny myself, I greatly appreciate you sticking up for your nanny however, if hubby wants to rough house with the boys before bed, then he should be allowed to do, but that means the nanny is done for the evening. He has to put the kids to bed on his own. A few nights of him doing it without help, and he'll quickly agree with the nanny. If he wants to be a parent, the least he could do is to learn about the kids' routines and which times are best for such types of games. What does he expect? That when he suddenly has time to be with the kids, then all rules don't apply and everyone has to just adapt to his schedule. No no, definitely not the asshole. Dad doesn't get a parenting responsibility free pass just because he doesn't see the kids often and he works a lot, he can be a fun parent whilst also sticking to the kids routine. He's undoing routine that benefits your kids and the woman helping you to raise them successfully. Not the asshole 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 not the asshole. And what's that, he can't handle the kids alone. What the fuck did he have them for then? Not the asshole. Coming from a man with no kids, your husband has chosen to work where works and that means he has chosen to be involved with his kids as he is. If you have to pay someone to make up for him not being there and being a part of their growth development, he should shut up and not hinder their growth development. That's not even going into the gender role scenario they're being exposed to. Ask him how he would feel if the owner of his company came in and used his computer while he was trying to work, deleted half the files he was working on, and then gives the computer back and says oops, you need to recreate everything that was deleted cause that's essentially what he's doing to the nanny. I mean the owner would be well within his rights to do what he wants with a company-owned computer and to insist he do the work because he's the employee, but you're not gonna work very long for someone who disrespects your time and effort that way. Not the asshole. Your husband is though, seeing the nanny as just an employee. Whilst this technically is true, he might want to think about how he and you would feel if she quit and you had to replace her. Not the asshole. Routine is important and if he's coming in and messing up the rhythm you guys have worked out, it's going to create issues. It sounds like your husband wants it both ways and that doesn't work as it is bound to confuse the kids and make problems. On the nights your hubby is home trade off with the nanny and you help him with the two older kids. You can correct him in a way the nanny isn't comfortable doing. Not the asshole. It's literally her job to keep the kids on a routine if his interfering is getting in the way of that then he is actually just wasting money hiring her. However, he is still their dad and probably wants to feel involved, maybe instead of framing it as the nanny is in charge frame it more like the nanny is more used to their routine schedule and he has to learn adjust to it and should follow her example for that. Leave dad, marry the nanny, live happily every after. Not the asshole but bigger issues. Probably an unpopular opinion. He's allowing the nanny to replace him via his regular absence. But his time with family should be encouraged as well. Rock and a hard